the keys. I have them marked. Obviously, this is for this regular one here. There's an alarm on it as well? Yeah, so it's... That's awesome. It has different mo riding modes, right? Yeah, so yeah. I, I put this in the rock mode. How do you change the riding modes? Okay. Oh, okay. Rock mode. It's flashing this right now. So once this goes away, you'll see it's like in full up in here. Which yeah, is so it has rock mode, rain mode, and what else? Roll. So it goes rain, roll, and rock mode. So roll, rock is like the dynamic mode. Okay. What's roll? Like, uh, Just a regular everyday. Cruising, yeah. yeah. Roll. Yeah, <laughs> what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. We're here located at our nearby BMW motorcycle dealership in Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey. We're taking this beautiful out. This beautiful, what is beautiful? We're taking this beautiful bike out today, the BMW R18. We got my main man Jerry right here. He's taking out the R18 Classic. The Classic comes with the bags, it comes with the windshields in the front. And right here we have Ben. Ben is allowing us to do this beautiful thing today. So if you are in the area and you're looking for a GS or a uh, cruiser bike, you can come and ask for him to definitely help you out. Um, we're gonna take these beautiful bikes out right now. I'm super excited about taking this R18. Um, you guys know, before this bike even was released, I was a fan of it. I spoke about it in a previous video or so. And um, I was a huge, huge fan. I loved the whole design of the bike. Um, this boxer engine is something uh, something different from what you guys are used to seeing on this channel. Um, exposed drive shaft, pretty different as well. Um, yeah, that's uh, something new as well. Um, this beautiful design exhaust. I know the exhaust, I posted a picture up on my YouTube channel the other day and I got some uh, feedback. A lot of people didn't like the exhaust that much, but I think it's pretty cool. Good thing about this bike, that it's just really customizable. So this is just the base model right here, but you could add so many different things to this bike and turn it into something else. Um, if it was me, I will turn it up into this right here. I'll post up a picture. Um, you have the option to do that chopper style type of uh, look. Beautiful, amazing bike. So you got the uh, boxer engine with the 1800 CC. To be accurate, it's 1802. So pretty massive, massive engine uh, with 116 foot-pounds of torque. So that's pretty impressive for a cruiser bike. 116 foot-pounds of torque. Um, and for the horsepower, I believe is around 96. Horsepower is what, 96? Uh, I, think nine, so I think it's 91 horse and 116 torque. Okay, 91 horsepower just to uh, get it straight. So, pretty impressive numbers. I think BMW did a great job with the design of this. It has that classic, classic look from the, um, their older bikes. We got this oil cooler right in the front right here. Um, yes, it is still air-cooled as well, so it's like a, a double. Beautiful design engine, man. Look at that. I love this whole, this whole thing. I love how this engine just sits in this chassis and just really nice. I also like the way everything's exposed. This wing arm is pretty nice as well. The way it just curves out. Gorgeous. All right, so without further ado, let's throw a leg over it and we'll keep continue talking about the R18 on the road. So the big button in the middle is to unlock it or lock it? Uh, that's to lock it. Then that's to lock it. So we're gonna unlock it. Yep. That's awesome. Power, here. power button. Put the heated grips on for you so you don't freeze. Awesome. That's a plus. Heated grips. Put it in the rock mode. And then I'll let you start it up. Awesome. We gotta input the hold the clutch, right? Hold the clutch. Ooh. See the way it moves? Nice. Alright, Ben. Okay. <laughs> this is so different. Wow, the BMW R18. I gotta tell you guys that when um this bike first surfaced and it uh was all over the web, I instantly, instantly fell in love with it. Um 
just the whole design and I remember going to the um, the bike show and seeing his bike on display and everyone was just <laughs> their jaws just they were just dropping just looking at this bike first impressions I am really impressed with the way it feels it's um it has such a torquey mode like even when you turn on the bike since you know the cylinders are side to side um you definitely feel like it just shakes side to side a little when you first turn it on and then as you're switching gears it kind of gives you like a little vibration as well but it's not it's nothing too crazy now this bike also does come with heated grips which is a plus so we got them on right now ben went ahead and turned them on for me so you got three modes on the um grips uh low medium and high obviously this bike also comes with three riding modes which right now we're on rock um then it comes with a rural roll uh mode which is like for your everyday riding and just cruising and then it comes with a rain mode which is another plus which is cool the whole ergonomics of the bar setup right now i gotta say it's pretty uh pretty comfortable you know very uh, your traditional cruiser style i feel very comfortable i have a you know slight bent right here to my arm on my elbow and i feel great i feel like pretty pretty comfortable whoa <laughs> i just stop shifting and i uh press the throttle it just like it, it just shakes you from side to side it's a little weird i gotta say it's definitely a little weird it's something you gotta definitely get used to this engine sits really really low and it's a heavy engine um with that being said it does have like a good center of gravity it feels like most of the weight is down below which i like just like the feel of that every time you press that throttle it just shakes out of side <laughs> that's a little torquey man this bike is uh very peppy the back brake works really good i like that that's a nice little bite it's a very very the c height is also very low guys so just to let you know i'm 5'7 and look i'm able to literally flat foot this and i still have a bent in my knee so it's a very very low bike so for you shorter riders out there you'll be great on this as far as the cylinders guys because i know you're going to mention like whoa those cylinders are going to be in the way obviously this bike comes with mid controls and forward controls is not going to be an option for you i'm sorry um i i don't feel like i'm really cramped up i thought i was gonna feel like really cramped up with these cylinders being right here in front of my feet um i feel great me personally i like i mentioned before in my other videos i prefer mid controls just because that's the type of style i like more progressive and i feel like more planted on the bike um it feels good i i, I it doesn't feel like these cylinders are going to get in my way or interfere with my legs or riding in any type of way please guys over here and these heated grips just got really hot <laughs> they feel great it's uh just to let you know it's a beautiful day out here in dirty jersey we got a high of 39 40 degrees right now it's a little chilly so these heated grips are uh, are a plus <laughs> bike is definitely torquey let's uh move over <laughs> this is the, this is a fun bike look at that what you guys think about jerry man jerry's on that classic right there like i said before the classic comes with the bags in the back comes with the windshield in the front it was pretty cool um the wheels on that bike are also different uh small wheels thicker tire so it's gonna handle a bit differently but look let me just show you guys where you see how it just like kind of jerks side to side when you give it uh give it throttle Woo! wow it picks up quickly wow i gotta say this bike definitely picks up power very very quickly 
I, you know what, I, I gotta say that I'm quite impressed. You guys, if you're new to my channel, let me just tell you a little bit about myself. I have a 2020 Harley Davidson Lowrider S and I also have a 2015 Dyna Lowrider. So, mainly a Harley guy, just a Harley guy because that's what I own, but I'm a, I'm a fan of all bikes. It's the reason why I'm on this bike today. Um, I'm a fan of all types and all brands. Um, I love trying new things out like I'm doing today and having the ability to just compare. Now this bike starts around at 17, eight around there. You're looking around $18,000 for a starting price point. Um, BMW also offers you a few different packages um, which are gonna differ from um, different additions to the bike. <laughs> suspension is okay it's a monoshock suspension so it's kind of like a soft tail and it's not that bad it's i gotta say the suspension is not that bad it definitely flew up back there going up over the little bump i'm very impressed with these heated grips man What do you guys think about the looks of the bike? I want to definitely hear your thoughts down below. I know the Harley community is going to hate this bike right now. Uh, but honestly, what, what do you really think about the, the whole design? Um, from your perspective, your view on the whole uh, ergonomics. Some of the specs that this bike has. I don't know all the all the all the specs about the bike. I'm just on it just test ride it. This is not an in-depth review, you know. I've given you what I know about the bike so far. And it's just my first impressions on it. Um as far as heat, being that these cylinders are right in front of my legs, I gotta say that um I'm not getting any heat whatsoever, which is I mean impressed because I thought the bike was going to be really hot. I thought my legs are going to be cooking but BMW you know Germans they know how to engineer everything and they definitely know how to keep those engines cool. Thanks guy thanks a lot I think Jerry's really enjoying riding that bike I gotta say though, the one thing that I just don't like about, I only have one thing I don't like about this bike. And it's just like the jerkiness, the jerk feel when you, you know, give it gas, or if you downshift and give it gas, like it just, you know, jerks and, and then I just, I'm not a fan of the open shaft. I think the open shaft is pretty cool. I mean, I can't see as I'm riding, but having an, you know, open shaft there spinning, it's just like the back of your mind is like, could be very dangerous like anything could just get wrapped up in there I love the fact that BMW was able to keep a nice classic look on this bike with a modern taste to it. I mean, this looks like a classic bike and it has riding modes, LED lighting, heated grips, upgraded suspension. And it just, it's just a, a handful of fun, a fistful of fun, to be honest. If I could describe this bike in one way, I would say it's a fistful of fun, basically. It is a windy day out here today. 
I like the fact that this gauge cluster is is right where it's at. It's right dead in center, and it's uh, at an angle where everything is right in front of you. Just giving a little glimpse, and um, it's perfect. One thing I didn't notice yet that it also has an indicator to let you know uh, that you need gas on there as well. All right, so look. That jerky feel. I don't know if the camera catches it, so I just downshift right now, and I'm gonna give it a little throttle. It just jerks, and it's like the forks jerk with it as well. That I don't like. And then when you're kind of like coming almost to a still, <laughs> you feel that boxer engine going back and forth due to the fact that it's not like a V twin side to side. It's uh, <laughs> you definitely feel it like going back and forth so different these Germans got a good things right here definitely do what do you think it's kind of vibrates a lot like my Evo yeah yeah but it's kind of cool I like it I like it too I don't like the fact that it just like it jerks you, yeah. I feel a little bit faster. Really? I feel very comfortable. It's comfortable. The seat's nice and firm. And it's not hot. Have you noticed that it's not hot? Yeah. Not at all. Like I, I, I thought it'll be, you know, throwing all this crazy amount of heat, but it's not. You look good on there, man. I had an extra 22, that BMW badging looks beautiful. Now I know that you guys must be wondering uh, what I got this bike. If I had an extra 22, 23 thousand dollars after you know taxes and everything, uh, yeah, I might, uh, I might think about purchasing this bike just because it's beautiful. And if I if I would get it, it would be with like that type of chopper style type of look. Uh, it just looks so beautiful. I'm impressed. I I gotta say I'm impressed. I'm happy I came out here today and I got on this bike. It's definitely a, an experience. I feel like the weight ratio on here, not the, not the weight ratio, just the weight itself. Um, the bike is just so well balanced. I like it. Just a little attention to details, something like, I don't, like these parts right here. I feel like the finishes on these controls right here could have been a bit differently. They could have been a little more, a bit nicer, a little bit more luxurious, you could say. Neutral and power. I like that power button. All right, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Obviously, something different. Uh, a different bike on the channel. If this is the type of content you're into, go ahead, subscribe, hit that bell button to so notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. The R18, beautiful bike, beautiful, beautiful. Let the fortune with you. Ride safe. And enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.